Merry Christmas and welcome to Eagles Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Kelsey. And I'm Gabe, and we're here to provide you with the news for today, Monday, December 12th. The EGALS freshman basketball team lost to Owensboro Catholic on Saturday at Apollo High School with the score of 42-57. to The Apollo EGALS was led in scoring by Amber Dunn with 15 and Addison Carter and Zoe Floyd with both scoring 9. Congratulations to the Eagle cheerleaders for representing Apollo with a strong performance at the Kentucky High School Athletic Association State Cheerleading Competition. The Apollo cheerleaders earned a top 10 finish landing in ninth place among multiple, multiple nationally competitive cheerleading programs, including... including 2016 national champions Corbin High School and two other teams who finished in the 2016 top five nationally. Up next for the cheerleading program is the National High School Cheerleading Championship where Apollo's co-ed cheer team will participate in the small varsity co-ed division and all-girl cheer team will participate in the medium varsity division. Good morning, Eagles. I hope you enjoyed your weekend and are ready to have a great week here at Apollo. As a part of the 12 days of Christmas, today is Christmas Character Day. ESS began this morning from 7 until 7.30 and will be this afternoon from 3.30 until 4.30. ESS will continue until Thursday. This afternoon, Kyra Tapp will be having a collegiate signing at 4 o'clock in the Commons area and the bowling team will be playing South Warren at Down and Lane South. Tomorrow is Christmas Shirt Day. The Student of the Month lunch will be held in the conference room tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, the girls basketball teams will be playing Union County at Union County and the boys basketball teams will be hosting Grayson County beginning at 5.30. This Wednesday is Winter Sports Day. Wednesday afternoon, the girls and boys JV basketball teams will be hosting Owensboro beginning at 5.30. This Thursday is Long Winter's Nap or Pajama Day. Thursday morning there will be an FCA meeting at 7.30 in the auditorium and all students who took the PSAT will be reporting to the Commons area for mission time. This Friday is Santa Hat Day. We will be on afternoon activity schedule on Friday due to the student faculty basketball game. Friday night the girls and boys basketball teams will be hosting Owensboro with the girls playing at 5.30 and the boys playing at 7. This Saturday the freshman basketball teams will be playing Davis County and the bowling team will be playing Graves County at Cardinal Lanes. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you next Monday. On Saturday, the Apollo swim team competed in Owensboro Catholic's Candy Cane Classic in a strong showing. The boys placed third, the girls placed eighth, and the team was fifth. Third in 200 freestyle. Ben Duncan added a second in the 50 freestyle. The boys 300 400 freestyle relay team of Ben Duncan, Sam Terrell, Landon Rafferty, and Sean Boone finished the meet in style with a convincing win. Other swimmers scoring individual points were Chris, Christian Lay, Sean Boone, Lexi Carlisle, Sam Terrell, and Connor Satterley. Congratulations, swimmers. November All-Star Eagles Luncheon is tomorrow during first lunch in the front office conference room. Those being honored are Jacob Gillum, Emma Owens, Chris Cox, Kenzie Barber, Garrett Murphy, Jalen Burroughs, and Logan Eanes, and John Akegel. Last Wednesday, December 7th, the AFJROTC held a Remember Pearl Harbor ceremony in remembrance of the 75th anniversary of the attack. The ceremony was held at 11.48 a.m., which is the exact time, Hawaiian time, the first wave of Japanese fighters launched their attack. 
just completed the ceremony to remember Pearl Harbor. It's a federal holiday of remembrance of the events that took place at Pearl Harbor. Uh, this is part of our curriculum, the, the military involvement in world affairs. We had our entire cadet corps turn out for this, along with the students who could be released. And beautiful day, and I hope that we will always remember what happened at Pearl Harbor so we can prevent it from ever happening again. Friday night, the Eagles defeated the Lady Panthers 65 to 56. Lexi Payton led the Eagles with 17 points and grabbed five rebounds. Jada Hall had 12 points, five rebounds, and five assists. Braylon Rhodes had 11 points, seven rebounds, and Allie Page Kirk also had 11 points and six rebounds. Congratulations, Eagles! AYL is sponsoring this year's student staff basketball game, which will be played at the end of the day this Friday. Any student not playing in a winter sport who is interested in playing, please sign up in Mrs. Matthews' room, room 311. As a member of the AFJ ROTC, Sarah Niebuhr was asked by Colonel Paul to paint a mural representing different branches of the U.S. military. Thank you, Sarah, for this beautiful mural. So Junior Civitan is all about service to the community and um, we do that service through our school. So during the holidays, we um, are supposed to be doing some Christmas caroling. We uh, have a tradition of helping feed the homeless, I think at the Daniel Patino shelters where that will happen. Um, so those are the things that we have coming up real soon. My name is Lauren Goffinet and I'm sponsoring the new club here at Apollo and our goals are to get involved in community outreach and volunteering in the school and in the community as well. So basically we're going to help out at school and community and with the community we're um, going to do things like have fundraisers at local shops and just like donate all the money to like female centered groups and also be in partnership with um, corporations like Girls Incorporated and basically just help. This year Apollo High School's Dance Blue Committee has hosted various mini marathons at various different elementary schools as well as middle schools and at their micro mini marathons we go and we help out the kids, we run games and we dance with them at the top of every hour that they have to celebrate and get involved with the kids and uh, to ultimately raise money for our own mini marathon. All of the funds raised for the micro minis go directly towards kids with pediatric cancer at the Hematology Oncology Clinic in Lexington. If you selected a Key Club Christmas Angel, please make sure to bring in your gifts by this Wednesday, December 14th. On Friday night, the boys basketball team beat Davis County 61 to 54. Leading scorer, scorers for Apollo were Nathan Boyle with 23 and Zach Hopewell with 18. And on Saturday night, the boys beat Madisonville North Hopkins 69 to 47. Leading scorers for Apollo were Nathan Boyle and Zach Hopewell. Both win 18 points each, and Alex Gray led the Eagles with seven rebounds. Congratulations, Eagles. On today's lunch menu in the Mama's Kitchen line, we'll, we will be having Salisbury steak or ribs, mashed potatoes and gravy, broccoli, squash, roll, fruit choice and pudding, and the Global Fairline Alfredo bar or pizza, broccoli, Caesar salad, fruit choice, breadstick and pudding, and the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, pork chop sandwich, chicken, peanut butter and jelly, fries, veggies and dip, baked beans, fruit choice and pudding. In the sub and salad line, sub bar or chef salad, fruit choice, veggies and dip and pudding. We'd like to wish the bowling team good luck as they host South Warren at 5 p.m. this evening at Diamond Lane South. And don't forget that as part of 12 days of Christmas, today is Christmas Character Day. Thank you and have a great day. Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to your last week of school for the semester. Let's work hard. For those of you that have found your grades deficient, make sure that we get our um, assignments caught up before the break, and uh, let's, let's finish the year in good standing. I have birthdays today. Uh, Christopher Cox celebrating a birthday on this 12th, Tyler Fightmaster, Carly Kirk all celebrating birthdays today. 
I will have uh, Christmas trivia after the pledge. Please Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, for Monday, the Christmas trivia, the, the first class to call down to the office and provide the answer to the following will win candy canes for the entire class. In the movie, Rudolph, Yukon Cornelius had five dogs pulling his sled. What kind of dogs were they? The first to come up with the answer to that and call the office. Let's otherwise make it a great day today.